हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो वेलकम अगेन हेयर आई एम विद अनदर प्रॉब्लम ऑन सेक्शंस ऑफ सॉलिड वन ऑफ द वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग प्रॉब्लम इफ यू रिमेंबर दैट अर्लियर वी हैव सॉल्व ए प्रॉब्लम लाइक दैट फ्रॉम ए क्यूब वी गॉट ए रेगुलर एक्सोगन सो सिमिलर टाइप ऑफ प्रॉब्लम विल बी अगेन हेयर ए सिंपल सॉलिड दैट विल बी ए स्क्वायर प्रिज्म सो ए स्क्वायर प्रिज्म विल बी गिवन टू मी Dimensions will be base side thirty-five mm and axis one twenty mm. And we want to keep its base on the HP, and we want to cut this solid in by an AIP in such a way so that the true shape of the section will be a rhombus and we want a rhombus of size two shape will be a rhombus of diagonals 100 mm and 50 mm so in the this problem they have told that there will be a this square prism will be given to me and i have to cut in this in such a way so that the true shape of the section will be a rhombus of 100 and 50 mm diagonals so as we want to get the rhombus so you know that if we want to get a rhombus then we have to place our square prism with the base on the hp with all the base sides equally inclined to vp so initially i have drawn this figure and in this figure i have kept all the sides of the square inclined 45 degree to the xy the base side will be 35 mm and with the help of that i have drawn the front view now if mathematically you can find out then this side will be 35 and this side will be 35 so automatically this diagonal of the base will be 50 mm that's why we can get the second di diagonal that is 50 mm so that puzzle will be solved because the length of this bf or you can say uh, bd and fh will be 50 mm so by putting it like this now we are going to cut this solid by an aip which will be inclined to hp and perpendicular to vp and as i want to get the diagonal second diagonal 100 mm so what i will do that i will take the length of aip equals to 100 mm so for making that what i will take i will take this length that is 50 mm from the top view and from the center of the axis actually what i am doing i am bisecting this axis so i am taking the midpoint of the axis and i have marked 50 mm upside and 50 mm downside like this so my section plane will be passed like this so now look at this section plane what we have done by picking the midpoint of the axis i have taken this radius equals to 50 mm so i have taken an arc of 50 mm length so if this will be 50 upside downside that is also 50 so cutting 50 50 mm in both the side of the square prism what i will got i got the length of the aip that is equals to 100 mm and you can also mention this aip by vt so this is the vt of the section plane now if i want to go for the top view then you know that all the four points in the top view will be on the corners of the square in the top view if i mention those cut points 
then this will be my point 1 dash this is 2 dash this will be 3 dash and this will be 4 dash and to in top two this will be 1 this will be 2 and this will be 3 and this will be 4. Now for getting the two shape of the section plane you know that what we will do we will draw a reference a another new reference line parallel to this cutting plane. So, if I draw a new reference line parallel to the cutting plane and I will project it on that. So, what I will do I will draw another reference line parallel to this cutting plane that is my x1 y1 and on this x1 y1 I will project these points 1 2 3 and 4. So, from 1 then from 2 and 4 and finally from 3. Now, I will pick the distances from the front view, sorry top view. For the true shape, you know that the distance of the new top view from the new reference line is the distance of the old top view from old reference line. So, this will be the distance of 1. I will pick from here and mark on this that will be point 1. Same way 2 on this, 4 on the same line and 3 on this line. So, these are the four points I can easily get. So, this will be 1, this will be 2, 3 and 4. Now, join all these four points with the help of a straight lines. You can easily get the true shape of the section. Now, draw lines inclined 45 degree to x y to new x y section lines equally spaced inclined 45 degree to x y So, this is the solution of the problem and you can easily find out this inclination of the AIP that is theta and as this length will be 100 and this length will be 50. So, this theta will be 60 degree. So, this is one of the problem in which we can get the true shape of the section by cutting a square prism in such a way so that the true shape of the section will be a rhombus of diagonals 100 mm and 50 mm. I hope you understand the concept and now you are able to solve the problems of the similar types. Thank you. Thank you very much.